Talking about man, it's your partner, man. Who? You know what I'm talking about? It's your partner, man. Who? You know what I'm talking about? It's your partner. Who? You know what I'm talking about? What's good with the people, man? How is y'all doing on this uh Fragile Folks Friday? You say Fragile Folks Friday. What you talking about, bro? Are we gonna get into it? But before we do that, what's good? People like he he ha ha, man. Ken in the pen. All my folks incarcerated, all my folks who ain't, man. Everybody on the bottom of that thing, everybody on top of that thing, man. Keep that head up. You know what I'm talking about? Keep pushing. We gonna get through it to get to it, man. You know what I'm talking about? Did I say can in the pen, man? I don't know, but if I didn't, go get the stick up in stores now, man. You go get some off 76 MacArthur Giants League is what I'm talking about. 82nd Hillside Barbershop. They say somebody putting them in their stores in the hundreds. Thank you, young man. Now, you know, you know what I'm talking about because I tell you every morning, man. But just in case you don't like me, nor do you mess with me, man, you can still come get them from me, though. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, man, they messed up my uh, spread. You know what I'm talking about? You can still come get them from me, though, man. Man, they messed up my spread. I don't know what that happened, man. You know what I'm talking about? There we go. Sprinkler system on you. What'd you say, bro? Sprinkler system on you. He on what I'm talking about, man. Also in stores, man. He on what I'm talking about. Funk or die trying. He on what I'm talking about. But if all else fails, and I mean if all else fails, man, you always can go to Amazon. Get you a hardback, man. He on what I'm talking about. Uh-oh, what's that swing? That finger, young man. Worldwide INC. What'd you say, bro? A worldwide corporated. What'd you say, bro? Worldwide. <clears throat> He said, what, what, bro? Say, hey, he ain't you know what I'm talking about, man. They say, bro, what does that mean? I'm going to say, hey, uh, you know what I'm talking about, bro. They said they still don't know what that means. I'm going to say, hey, uh, you know what I'm talking about. It means everybody, bro, everybody included. You know what I'm talking about? And Dugu, Mike, Lil Roo, not Lil Roo, Lil Roo. You know what I'm talking about? Top, top, the player. That's who comes next, bro. Same thing, bro. Everybody on the bottom of that thing, everybody on top of that thing, man. Keep that head up. You know what I'm talking about? Keep pushing. We're going to get through it to get to it, man. Now, let's get through them disclaimers, man. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, but before we do that, my mama says, my mama always said, boy, brush some whiskers when you're on TV. You know what I'm talking about? No, I almost forgot. Coffee Chronicles. Classic roast. Ain't that piping hot? It's cool, though. You know what I'm talking about? I'm always be at. Oh, yeah, good brother like myself, man. I don't promote no drug usage. Mm -mm. Good brother like myself. I don't promote no uh, uh, drug sellage. Mm -mm. Good brother like myself, man. I don't promote no alcohol consumption. Mm -mm. Good brother like myself, man. I don't promote no uh, crime. Good brother like myself. I don't promote no uh, violence. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. Good brother like myself. I don't promote no domestic violence. Mm -hmm. Keep your hands off the people. People. He don't talk about. He don't talk about. Don't. He don't talk about promote. He don't talk about no negativity. No, no, no. Me, man. I don't promote shit. You know what I'm talking about? They was talking to me, man. I don't promote shit. You know what I'm talking about? Me, all I promote is y'all. Go ahead, do what you're going to do with your time, young ladies and gentlemen. Make sure you find the right thing to do with your time, young ladies and gentlemen, because we just don't know how much of it we got, man. What do you get better like myself, man? I ain't prejudiced. No, nah, man. Get better like myself. I ain't got nothing against the sexually different, man. No, nah, man. You know what I'm talking about? Get better like myself. I ain't got nothing against the little people. You know what I'm talking about? No, nah, man. Me, man. I ain't got nothing against nobody. They was talking to me, man. I just love peace with everybody. You know what I'm talking about? As a matter of fact, I want to quit. You know what I'm talking about? Bring that peace. You know what I'm talking about? That joy. You know what I'm talking about? That love. Who did you say, bro? That love. Back to the YouTube community, man. You with me? Come on over here, man. Fuck with your partner, man. Hey, check it out. Psst, 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 psst. Don't fuck with a nigga one time, man. Y'all hold on. Let me go put some warmth on it. Good with the people, man. You know what I'm talking about? Classy roast. Piping hot hand, you know I'm talking about. Uh, shout out to everybody who just took a shit and didn't wash their hand. I put her there. <laughs> man, it was good to people, man. Mama said, Breast and Whiskers when you on TV, man. You know what I'm talking about? Nephew, sis, old man, new lady. Hey, nephew, sis, old man, new lady. You know what I'm talking about? Man, it was good with the people. You say, Fragile folks, hurry up, man. This ain't going to be that uh, long one. Coffee Chronicles. You say fragile folks, what you talking about, bro? Oh, just that right there, man. Now there's gonna be some today's see. Like this shit, don't don't get me wrong, because I know y'all cause I they tell me like, bro, I'm tired of you always talking about today's time and all that shit. Ugh, like, nigga, I'm tired of you acting like a bitch. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, bro? That's what I'm tired of. You nigga acting like a bitch. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? But on some real shit, a lot of this shit has always been going on, bro. It just wasn't really cool. You know what I'm talking about? Just like the Saguni shit. There's been Sagoonies around this motherfucker, but that wasn't no shit. It wasn't cool to be that shit. You know what I'm talking about? You couldn't just walk around doing that shit that they do now, bro. You know what I'm talking about? 
trying to get people to go along with it and all that old shit, bro. It just wasn't that much shit going around, bro. It wouldn't. See, back in the day, man, like, uh, see, cause I'm gonna tell you, uh, sis, y'all, y'all kind of guilty of this one too, man. Cause, uh, back in the day, bitches wouldn't harbor in no Sagoonies either. They, they'll laugh your ass up out of here. You know what I'm talking about? Call you all kind of sweet and all kind of shit. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, Every bitch didn't have no Saguni partner. You know what I'm talking about? So y'all kind of uh, promoted that shit, sis. I ain't gonna lie to you. Yeah, y'all kind of promoted that shit. But fragile folks go just like that, bro. It's like I said, this shit been going on, folks. For hella long. It just wasn't cool. You know what I'm talking about? Motherfuckers wasn't in no hurry to, uh, to just do this shit, man. But fragile folks, it goes all around the world, man. You can put a lot of shit on this shit because it, it goes like that. But uh, what I'm seeing today is, like, say we've been best friends for 20 years, folks. And what people are doing now, man, y'all see this shit just like I see it. People are in a rush, folks, to get these, uh, just the attention, the views, the clicks, the, the, whatever. Uh, I don't know, bro. I don't know what they're trying to embarrass their people. I, I don't really know what kind of kick you get out of that, man. But what I have been noticing is motherfuckers that have been friends for 50 motherfucking years, bro. It's like in today's time, the motherfuckers with that long history, bro, it's like y'all can't even get on the phone and talk to each other no more, folks. You know what I'm talking about? Fragile folks Friday. Somebody gonna say, no, nah, bro, I don't know what you're talking about. And it's my personal opinion. You don't have to agree with me. I just feel that we've been knowing each other for 50 years, bro, that we should be able to settle our dispute, you know what I'm talking about, in the background. You know what I'm talking about? Somebody gonna say, bro, how you gonna come up here and talk about to settle this? Listen, bro. Now, I know, bro, be coming up here, y'all be wondering what, but that's just the thing. Y'all don't know what the fuck I be talking about. You know what I'm talking about? Only the people know what the fuck I'm talking about. You get what I'm saying? Because what I'm not gonna do. Now, you might piss baby cuz off every now and then. You know what I'm talking about? I might get a little bit about my character. I ain't above correction. You know what I'm talking about? And uh, I didn't check myself every time I did that shit. You know what I'm talking about? And I was lightweight embarrassed with myself. Not really embarrassed. You know how you be shamed or something. You know what I'm talking about the next day. Like, damn, I wish I wouldn't have did that shit. That's another reason I stopped drinking. But on this fragile folks, bro, what, what I don't do or what I'm not going to do, bro, I'm not going to come up here, man, and call my folks by name, put their address out here. Or, see, I'm not in the big whether I like you or not, bro. You know what I'm talking about? I'm not into, uh, like, painting my pe people in a bad picture. I'm not. You know what I'm talking about? So despite what I say and what I'm not, man, I'm not going to come up here, give your name, your address, let the people know it's you, let them know where you will we'll be paid. I, I ain't going to do all that, bro. I ain't up here to paint my people in a bad light, even if I don't like you, nigga. You know what I'm talking about? It's 700. Yeah, 700 on mine, old school. You feel what I'm saying? Your old school, 700, man. You know what I'm talking about? Y'all know, bro, out there repping that. You know what I'm talking about? I say I wasn't a fool repping that shit. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Love my niggas, man. Shout out to all y'all. But fragile folks that go just like that, folks. You know what I mean? And I think as people, because we get attention from it now, because, like, it's fucked up, actually, bro, because it's a monkey see, monkey do world. So you will see motherfuckers that been friends forever. You will see Andre 3000 and Big Boy uh, arguing and shit, and that should have started a whole trend. You get what I'm saying? That should have started a whole trend. Somewhere, they got you thinking that it's cool to do that shit. They got you thinking that it's cool to embarrass your people. They got you thinking that it's cool to come up here and let the people know all the juicy details and all that shit, folks. And, uh, ain't nothing cool about that shit, bro. Because once again, and this is what I don't be getting, and everybody does this shit nowadays. You sitting here, we'll see two motherfuckers, and they together every day and shit. You get what I'm saying? Then all of a sudden they fall out. And one of the niggas who was the, uh, y'all was just together every day. You'll see one of them start talking about the nigga. Why that don't make no sense is because if you knew all that about the nigga, what does that say, say about you when you was hanging with him, bro? That's why I don't believe in that shit. You know all that shit, but you was just cool with that shit. You get what I'm saying? So you now you want to come up to the forefront after you mad at a nigga like a bitch. And you want to expose all this shit. And you want to say, but you knew all that shit while you was out there hanging with that nigga, bruh. That's why a lot of that shit be, uh, 
uh, that should be your character flaw. That's why I don't be wanting to hear shit when people get mad. Because it seems like that's the only time people got shit to say is when they mad. You know what I'm talking about? Then comes the, uh, what y'all call that shit now, the exposure. Now I'm going to tell the world this nigga what he been doing. Man, that shit is boozy to me. Once again, I say, bro, that shit ain't boozy. I'm going to tell you why it's boozy. Because you knew all that shit. You knew all that shit. And you didn't have a problem with none of that shit. <coughs> oh, Papa. <coughs> oh, Papa. <coughs> I said, Papa. Baby, you want to hit this party on Somebody, uh, oh shit! Ooh, I didn't even break them. My glasses, man. I just stepped on them, motherfucker. But yeah, fragile folks. Friday, man. So that's why I don't be wanting to hear that shit, bro. And that's why I ain't never like uh. I learned this lesson a long time ago too. That's why I don't get nobody business. Like, say you got a family member. Like, if you got a baby daddy or something, don't call me if you still plan on fucking with that nigga. You know what I'm talking about? I learned my lessons about that shit a long time ago, bro. You been went over there and start jumping on the nigga, and nigga and your family member been jumped on you, talking about get off of him and shit like that. You know what I'm talking about, bro? I learned my lesson. Because motherfuckers just be mad for the moment. So you been went over there and jumped on the motherfucker, and they gonna be together tomorrow. You know what I'm talking about? So I'm not even gonna get in that business right there, bro. I'm not. You know what I'm talking about? Because I understand. So I'm not one of them niggas like, you know what I'm talking about? I told you, since I've been on here, logical nigga. So I'm not one of them people, like, if you call me, I'm a, uh, first of all, when you tell me the uh, story, if it don't sound right, like, if there's any bullshit up in there, bro, I'm going to catch it. You get what I'm saying? I am. But I'm going to listen to the story. You know what I'm talking about? You just can't call me tell me a motherfucker put their hands on you. You know what I'm talking about? I'm going to, what did you do to get your, now if a motherfucker just put their hands on you for no reason, got mad, you know what I'm talking about? You know you're going to see me in a minute. Hey, you know what I'm talking about? But uh, a lot of times I just know how females is, you know what I'm talking about? So a lot of times y'all just get mad and shit. It don't even be nothing. You been to sit up there, jumped in the nigga face, followed the nigga in the hall, you know what I'm talking about? And the nigga done went upside your head or something. Don't call me for no shit like that. You know what I'm talking about? Because you ain't went out of pocket. You feel me? Then I might call a nigga, have a talk with him or something. You get what I'm saying? But uh, I don't be getting in that business right there. Because I learned my lesson. You feel me? You been went over there and jumped on the motherfucker. And, uh, man, I'm telling you, you been went over there and jumped on the motherfucker. And you went to jail, nigga. And everybody made statements against you, nigga. You know what I'm talking about? Even your family member, nigga. I ain't bullshitting with you. So, uh, me personally, I try to stay up out that business. You know what I'm talking about? Now, if you know you ain't gonna fuck with this motherfucker no more, you know what I'm talking about? We can go get to it. But I ain't jumping on nobody then go right around. See, this nigga got the family reunion and shit. I ain't doing that, bro. Not me. You done bought this nigga to the funeral and shit. I ain't doing that. I still ain't told you fragile folks stuff. Coffee Chronicles. Y'all be turning the scene now like we don't have no more. Uh, my nigga for the Warriors or that used to run the Warriors or uh, Bill Myers or with Bob Myers, whatever that nigga said. He explained it the other day. He basically said it just ain't no more patience no more. You get what I'm saying, bro? So it'd be like shit don't even mean shit to uh, motherfuckers no more. So we could have had this friendship for hella long, bruh. You know what I'm talking about? And that shit just seemed fragile. Because the moment you get mad, you know what I'm talking about? I'm not standing strong no more. I'm just going to get mad and I'm just going to do some fragile ass shit. You know what I'm talking about? To uh, I'm going to act like the, the friendship we had for 50 years was nothing. I'm going to act like that shit was fragile. You know what I'm talking about? Like it was never on nothing. Like that shit was always brittle. And the moment you make me mad, 
at that moment, I'm going to take it upon myself to try to destroy you, however that may be. Fragile Folks Friday. And you say, why you say all that, man? Because I don't think us as people understand. I think we only understand when we upset. I think we only understand, like, when we think of something fucked up. I don't think that we analyze ourselves. I don't think that we uh actually go over the shit that we be doing. You get what I'm saying? Because I think us as people, we just automatically give ourselves the uh the minimum of the stick. You know what I'm talking about? So anything we do, we don't put big draws on it. We minimize that shit no matter what it is. You know what I'm talking about? A motherfucker could come over there and slap the shit out you and they're going to minimize that. Like, I ain't even hit you that hard. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, man, you tougher than that and all that. You get what I'm saying? When really you just ate one out of pocket. Fragile Folks Friday. Especially in today's time, we don't like being out of pocket. Nobody. And that's one of the biggest problems we got on earth right now. I ain't bullshitting with you. Everybody is Mr. Know-it-all. Everybody wants to tell you to do something. Everybody knows everything and nobody wants to be wrong. And why that's dangerous is because if you don't want to be wrong, bro, you'll go through any extents to, so you could uh, paint yourself in a good light. So you'll go through any measures just not to be wrong. You get what I'm saying? That's why I said, man, we uh, just creating a world of no accountability. But Fragile Folks Friday, man. And that's why in just society today, man, you got to watch yourself. You get what I'm saying? You ain't got to watch shit else but yourself. Because I told you, we, we, uh, I was just listening to a nigga. I ain't never seen that nigga channel before, bro. That nigga hella funny. I want to say my nigga name is, uh, 903 Boxing or something. I, I want to say he from Texas. That nigga funny as a motherfucker, bro. I ain't lying. That nigga funny as a motherfucker, but just on some real shit. That nigga, I told you, I ain't the only one. That's what surprised me. I was listening to him talk because I be liking to, just to hear different, uh, I'm going to say I'm blowing your nose on camera. Sorry, mama. He don't talk about top of the world, mama. <laughs> top of the world. He don't um, talk about rock the baby, mama. Shout out to D.O.T. Just wanted to see my mama. But uh, that nigga was hella funny. I think his name 903 Boxing or 903 something like that. But he like a boxing channel. But nigga just be talking about real shit. But that nigga said the same thing I said a few days ago, man. You know what I'm talking about? So I know I ain't the only one to see it. That nigga said, this, in this day and this, the, the worst batch of black motherfucker he ever seen in his life, bro. And it is. I ain't bullshitting with you. It is, folks. Like, us as the people, this the worst batch of, like, man, this shit is crazy. Wild! <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? I ain't bullshitting with you. Nephew, sis, old man, old lady. Nephew, sis, old man, old lady. What'd you say, bro? Old lady. I ain't bullshitting with you, man. Yeah, man, but this the worst batch of motherfucker, just the ways, and I keep telling you that, man, and they just keep on, uh, it remind me of the movie The Stuff, nigga, when they were selling people all that fucked up yogurt, nigga, and you eat that yogurt and you be, uh, The Stuff, nigga, you know what I'm talking about, that's what this, uh, shit remind me of, cause they just, uh, downloading and downloading, well, actually, y'all downloading the behaviors, but they just putting them out there for y'all to download, you know what I'm talking about, and everything has become cool. And all we done, bruh, is uh be running around this motherfucker on some fragile folk shit. We can't wait to get into it with a motherfucker. We can't wait for a motherfucker to make us mad or something like that, bruh. Then we just jump out the window with some fragile folks ass shit, folks. You know what I'm talking about? First of all, it ain't no way in the world I'm finna be hanging around a motherfucker. You know what I'm talking about? We've been hanging around each other for 20 years, and then you made me mad. So now, I just sat up here and told everybody that you was telling, or I done told everybody whatever something that you was doing, bro. But I've been knowing this for 20 years. So what does that make you? Because you didn't have a problem with it before. And that's why I say it's Fragile Folks Friday, bro. Because a lot of that shit be going on just like that now, folks. Like, you don't, uh, you be cool with everything until you have a problem. And then the moment you have a problem, then all of a sudden these motherfuckers right here ain't no good. They bad people and all that. But how was you hanging with them for the last 20 years if they all that? Coffee Chronicles. See how we got the Fragile Folks Friday? It's because a lot of niggas now act like the fragile ass bitch. 
on some, you know how a bitch is. A bitch is just unpredictable. A bitch liable to do anything. A bitch liable to say anything. You know what I'm talking about? Just the, the logic of a bitch. And now niggas got the logic of a bitch. You get what I'm saying? Now you got the niggas with the exposing. Now you got the niggas running around with the information trying to uh, tell somebody else about you. I ain't never seen so many niggas at one time talking that ain't prepared to do nothing. I ain't never seen that shit, bruh. At least even a mark. You know what I'm talking about? Even a nigga who was scary or whatever. That nigga was talking knowing that if somebody put their hand on him, that was just it. Nigga, he was going to fight this time. But I ain't never seen so many motherfuckers talk at once, bruh, with the bullshit at once and ain't prepared to do nothing. Just ready to, to talk, folks. I'm telling you, just ready to talk. I ain't never seen that. I ain't never seen no generation of a nigga, if you push up on the nigga right there, he gonna use same tactics to uh, try to wiggle up out of ass whooping. You get what I'm saying? I ain't never seen that. Where a nigga tell you something like, oh man, you wanna push up on me, but you ain't said nothing to them. I ain't never seen that, folks. I ain't. I ain't never seen no nigga get mad at his partner. Then come to Twitter or Facebook or something talking about since you talking, won't you tell your wife about them other bitches that we, I, 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 Fragile Folks Friday, folks. And I don't understand it. That shit got me uh, at a loss for words, bruh. And I just don't get that. I, I don't get, bruh, if you my folks, whether we into it or not, uh, you might know what I'm talking about, bruh. I'm not coming to paint my folks in a bad light to the world. I'm not. You know what I'm talking about? I'm going to rock with all my niggas, whether I like you or I don't, bruh. You know what I'm talking about? It's East Oakland 700 on mine. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? So whether I like you or not, bro, I'm rocking with that right there. You get what I'm saying? Because I understand. I told y'all, that's just like me being out of state with somebody I don't like. You know what I'm talking about? But we from the same area. Then me sitting around there, letting one of these, uh, wherever we at, letting something happen to them people, bro. Whether I like them people or not, bro. You know why I'm going to help them people? Because if you don't help them people, guess what they gonna guess what people gonna get confident in? They gonna get confident in jumping on them niggas from that area over there. You know what I'm talking about about the bay. I done seen it too much. Just how we let the world do us now. The world see we at a disarray. They see we all over the place, bruh. You know what I'm talking about? They do. They see we all over the place and they exploit that shit. I told you, it's like we done sicked us on us. Like, we done sick, we done sick us on us. You feel me? We well, is, yeah, bro. Fragile folks. But I just don't, uh, me personally, but that's just me personally, bro. I'm not going to do it. I'm not coming up here even if I don't like you, bro. You know what I'm talking about? I could, like, really not like you, folks. Like, in my head, if I see you, I'm going to do something to you. I got not like you like that, bro. And I'm still not gonna come up here and paint you in a bad light. I'm not. I'm not, bruh. Cause it ain't nobody business for one thing. And um I just don't see no point in doing that. I don't I don't see the reward in doing that. You know what I'm talking about? I don't see what you get by talking about your partners or even people you don't like. I just don't see the reward you get up out of that, bruh. You know what I'm talking about? A lot of times you just make yourself seem like you talking. A lot of times. You know what I'm talking about? Because it's impossible for you to have that much to say about it. Then you ain't ready to do nothing about it. It's impossible. And I think we get caught up in that now. <clears throat> because it's so easy to talk. And it's just so easy to... uh, Man, Fragile Folks Friday. It's just so easy, bro. You could go platinum with just somebody's uh, business, nigga. You know what I'm talking about? You can't. You could just come up here, a nigga, to Twitter or Facebook or something in the little town you at or whatever, or whatever area you in, bruh. And nigga be the people about your area. You know what I'm talking about? <clears throat> your partner or something. And you could just come up here, nigga, and blast your partner in that area or something. Talk about all the bitches he done fucked or you know how they be doing now. Talking about you done burnt this bitch or y'all know how they be playing the A's game and shit. Talking about these people got something and these people don't. Y'all know all that shit. And you been a dead that, bruh, just to, uh... For your little 15 seconds of fame or something. Fragile Fox Friday. You feel me? And I told you we living in a day now, bro, where you could actually get a motherfucker to sell their soul for attention. 
Like you don't even need no money. Remember back in the day, a motherfucker used to sell his soul for a few dollars. I mean, they still will, but uh, now you don't even need to give a motherfucker a few dollars, bro. Motherfucker sell his soul for a little bit of attention. Coffee Chronicles. It's Fragile Folks Friday, man. And that shit just be looking crazy as a motherfucker, bruh. Because it just look like we beating up each other for other people amusement. That's what it look like, folks. I ain't bullshitting with you. All right. <clears throat> but me personally, y'all just don't see the rewards you get out of that for downing your people. I don't. You know what I'm talking about? I don't. I don't see the rewards you get for exposing your partner or y'all so-called exposing your partner. That, that's just not like player shit. What happened to all them codes and shit? Y'all remember they used to be running around here talking about bro code and all that. What, what happened to all that shit? Bro, how that shit just disappear overnight? How, when did it ever become cool to get out in front of an audience? Nigga talking about nigga got little kids and shit, bro. I, like, where 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 did y'all get that from? You know what I'm talking about? I, I just don't get it, bro. I don't. I don't like all the shit y'all do now. I just don't get it, bro. Like, you actually got niggas going live, but it's a... It, it's, uh, we on this motherfucker looking like the Brady Bunch. The top row is from one click and the bottom row is from one click. And we just yelling at each other. Fragile folks Friday, bro. I, I just don't get it. We put ourselves, I don't know, we everybody else amusement, I guess. But if you don't get nothing out this video right here, bro, it's just that uh, it's mostly because I've been seeing people that uh, just the world. Like you fuck with somebody, bro. This is just my opinion. You don't have to agree with me. I think that uh, that's worthy of hashing out in the background. You know what I'm talking about? I think that uh, both parties should respect each other enough to do that shit. You know what I'm talking about? And just keep that shit up out the light because it ain't really everybody's business. You get what I'm saying? But we sitting here letting them turn regular situations in life into General Hospital and the Young of the Restless and shit. Victor uh, Newman face having has You know what I'm talking about? For real. But, uh, I just think this is my opinion now. You ain't got to agree with me. Nephew says old man, old lady. Hey, nephew says old man, old lady. Hey, what'd you say, bruh? Old lady. Yeah, you ain't got to agree with me. This is just my opinion. But I, uh, if you didn't have like a long ass relationship, you really call somebody your partner and shit, bruh. I just don't think that shit right there is uh, to be put on display for the world to see. And I don't be understanding. Now, this is something that y'all might do. You don't have to agree with me once again. I just don't understand. If we call ourselves dogs, the moment I get uh, mad at you, at that moment right then, I'm on some shit like uh, the jealous uh, first baby mama that just found out I had a baby on her. And we start acting like that, Brett. And from that day, we get mad at you. We set out on just hella little spiteful shit now. We just trying to destroy, you know what I'm talking about? Like, we just want to, like... Because, like, I just don't know. It's like, if you going through all the measures like that, folks, it's almost like you never had love for a motherfucker. How can you have love for a motherfucker, uh, whether y'all on good terms or not? How can you say you have love for a motherfucker, but you want to see them, like, destroyed? You, you, like, that just don't make no sense. To me, that indicates that there was really never no love there. And it was always some kind of underlying jealousy or envy. You know what I'm talking about? Just me using my common sense. Yeah, you know, man, because uh, if I got love for you, I'll be fucking with you. I still don't want to see nothing. Uh, I still don't want to see you nothing bad happen to you, folks. You know what I'm talking about? Coffee Chronicles. But we like uh, fragile, big-ass babies now that just throw tantrums and shit when we don't get our way. So it's almost like... Uh, <clears throat> If I think you acting funny with me, say, uh, I'm sitting over here, but you just catch fire, you know what I'm talking about? Whatever you involved in, you on your nickels right now. And I'm the nigga over here. I just can't let you be on your nickels, you know what I'm talking about? I act like you got to run whatever you doing by me just because we fuck with each other or something. So now I didn't put a big ass label on you. I'm over there talking about you acting funny and you doing this and you doing that when you ain't really doing nothing but just, uh, living your motherfucking life. But somehow, uh... I just sat over here and viewed our uh your life as our partnership. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? So you can't do nothing without me. Nephew says old man old lady. Nephew says old man old lady. What you say, bro? Old lady. You know what I'm talking about? So now you can't do nothing without me. 
Because I done turned your life into our partnership. You get what I'm saying? And I just see too much shit like that in these days. Fragile folks Friday, man. And motherfuckers are like, you turn yourself into a hater, bro. Just watching the next motherfucker. Because while you watching the next motherfucker, you developing feelings about some shit the next motherfucker doing. Coffee Chronicles. So, because the motherfucker then struck it rich. And you feel like they ain't reached back and gave you enough. So now they acting funny. So now you set out on some kind of weird ass mission to get in their program and start uh putting too much salt on their meal. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? And shit like that. You don't get it. Fragile Folks Friday, bro. I'm just saying, if you got love for somebody, it should just always be love there. You know what I'm talking about? Whether y'all uh, disagree, or you should just be able to agree to disagree. Or go yourself a raise, bro. I just don't think that you should be sitting around trying to play a part in your partner's demise. But that's just me. What do I know? Only you can prevent forest fires, man. And with that one right there, if you don't remember nothing else, always remember, it don't cost nothing just to show a little bit of that love.